nano crystal technology. Sounds like something from a science fiction movie, doesn't it? Well, Samsung was gracious enough to lend us one of their newest SUHD TVs so that we can explore this sci-fi tech together and more. This is Samsung's UN55J7000 TV. It's one of Samsung's newest models in their SUHD lineup. Now, we all know what UHD stands for, and that's ultra high definition. But some of you might be curious as to what the S might stand for. The S doesn't stand for super or spectacular or even stunning. Although some of those words do describe the picture quality of the TV quite well, but I digress. The S actually doesn't stand for anything at all. The S is more of a designation that this TV right here is one of Samsung's premium products. Much like how they have the S5 and S6 cell phones, the Tab S tablets, and their Galaxy Gear S wearables, the S is there to let you know you've purchased a great product from Samsung. Let's move on to the TV itself. It's a 55 inch TV with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. For inputs, it's got four HDMI ports, two USB 2 ports, one USB 3 port, and let's stop right there. Thank you Samsung, a great decision to add USB 3. Moving along, the TV also sports component inputs that also shared with composite, leaving the back of the TV a whole lot cleaner looking, or at least I think so. It has ethernet port, but also comes with wireless dual band AC. The JS7000 also includes a 3.5 millimeter audio out, optical out, and a very nice five-way joystick menu selection slash power button. The JS7000 offers a 120 motion rate, UHD upscaling for any HD content, full array backlighting, a great viewing angles, and finally the star of the show, Nano Crystal Technology. For some people out there, Nano Crystal Technology seems like an alien term. Let me explain. In a traditional TV, the white LEDs used are actually blue LEDs with a yellow phosphor coating added to it. This allows for the blue LED to be interpreted as a white color, like the camera flash on a cell phone, and then when a diffuser is added, you get the usual range of colors. However, because of the phosphor coating, the white light contains impure colors like orange, pink, and yellow, which causes the filter to display deficient wavelengths of red and blue. This gives the end user a picture quality that can be a little underwhelming. With Samsung's nano crystal technology, instead of a phosphor coating, thousands of nano crystals are placed in between the blue LED base and the diffuser. What's great about nano crystals is that it allows for pure red, green, and blue wavelengths to be filtered into a wide range of color. Samsung SUHD TVs can have brightness increased by up to 2.5 times when compared to older generations of TVs that don't use the technology, and the blue LEDs have better longevity when compared to the phosphor coated ones. And when the nano crystals are turned off, that's when you also get the deep dark blacks that make up great contrast in media that you consume. But of course, with our current camera equipment, video editing, compression, and uploading this video to YouTube, you guys won't get the same viewing experience watching this from your PC or mobile. So just keep that in mind. Now, you might say to me, Jack, this nano crystal technology sounds awfully like quantum dot technology. To which I might reply, maybe you should go home. You sound drunk. But really, that's because they're very similar, as in almost the same, but with small differences. Samsung's branding theirs as nano crystal, while people in the industry refer to quantum dots, they are in fact talking about nano crystals. But these are Samsung nano crystals, so nano crystals S or nano crystals. Now changing gears a little bit, the JS7000 is running Tizen, an open source operating system that we've seen in some of Samsung's wearables, and now it's made its way into Samsung TVs. Not only does this open source OS give easy access to devs, it's a lot snappier when it comes to performance because it uses a lot less resources. The user interface is a very nice non-intrusive tile system that is placed on the bottom of your screen. To bring up this interface, simply press the smart hub button on your remote. From here, you can do all sorts of things you can expect from most smart TVs. You can browse the internet, go on YouTube, or even play games. Although to play games on this TV, you must have a Samsung account, but it's totally worth being able to play Minion Rush. Don't, don't judge me. There are other various services you can find in the My App tab, like Crave, Netflix, TSN Go, and even PlayStation Now. Yes, this is one of the select Samsung smart TVs that feature that service. Again, you do need a separate subscription for this, but it's cool to know that it's there. Not feeling any of the apps included, 
Well, try screen mirroring with a compatible device so that you can use your phone on a TV. In the end, the Samsung JS7055 inch SUHD TV is just a beast when it comes to things like color reproduction and immersion thanks to nano crystal technology. Add on the snappiness of Tizen and Samsung setting the bar really high for other smart TVs out there for 2015 and beyond. If you're interested in one of these bad boys, click on it here or check the link in the description for more details. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of nano crystal technology? Would you like to see more TVs adopt this technology? We'd love to hear from you, but as always, leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Also, click here for our other videos. And if you wanna follow us on Twitters, these are our handles. Yes, I said Twitters. Anyways, we'll see you later.